Welcome to Relic Hunter Firing Line on one of Pennsylvania's last, hopefully last, hot sunny days of the summer. Uh, we are here today going over some of the new guns we got in at Relic that are here on this table. I'm just going to give you a little bit about them and we're going to discuss the nice features and what makes it a good gun for you. This is the IWI Z15 made by Israeli Weapon Industries. It is their little go for a AR-15 style firearm. Comes in two different calibers, you know, 5.56 and that 223 Remington. This is the 16 inch barrel. Everything on it is mil spec from IWI except for that B5 grip and B5 stock. Now the Zion 15 is known for its reliability and modularity. Just like most AR-15s, it is completely customizable to however you want it to be, whether that be a nice foregrip, an LPVO, red dot, whatever it might be that you want. You want to throw a can on there, same type of deal with that muzzle brake. Take that muzzle brake off, put on your new one. There you go, you can put a can on it. Now the Z15 offers many out the box accessories that are to our likings. You get those really nice aftermarket stock and hand grip. You do get a nice bolt carrier group and a very easy trigger to press right out the box. With a full length hand guard, any attachment or thing that you want to put on this firearm is already at your disposal to be accessorized. So the Z15 by IWI does have an amazing customer service support. When you're looking for a firearm and you have any information or any questions about that firearm like Smith & Wesson or Ruger, sometimes it's hard to get a hold of what pieces you need for that firearm. Well, with IWI, it's made as easy as it can be. Now this right here is the Spear LT. It is a piston-driven 5.56 AR made by Sig Sauer. Comes with a foldable stock, so there's no need for that buffer spring. That's why you have that piston-driven firearm and it's great for suppressors because you have an adjustable gas block. Now with this firearm, you do get that internal bad lever, if you will, right here in the firearm, so you can close that bolt with your firing hand and not have to take your support hand off the firearm. But sometimes even that 5.56, 22-ish size caliber isn't good enough for you. You're a big boy, you want a big boy gun. Well, instead of the 5.56, you can get the spear, and 308, or as we like to say, 308. You got a big boy, same thing across the board as that 556, and comes with that adjustable gas block the same way you would want it suppressed off the 556. 